Hey guys, what's up? DJ Ravine here. Uh, a lot of people have been messaging, messaging me and emailing me about how to mix and also how to use Virtual DJ and uh, well, basically where to get started. Um, well, then I thought, you know what, Virtual DJ, that's a great place to get started because it's, well, it's free for uh, the first 20 days. Then you got to purchase the product, which is actually a really worthwhile um, purchase. It's not very expensive. Just go to virtualdj.com. I think that's it. If not, just Google it. Um, and you'll be able to find it. So um, what you do, just download the trial, and what I'm going to teach you today is how to use it, and also how to mix. So um, all you guys have been asking me for so long now, um, and finally I got around to doing it. So uh, tell me how I went. Here it is. Alright guys, so basically we start off from my desktop. Um, we'll just double click on Virtual DJ. Select the skin you want to use, doesn't matter right now, click any. Uh, what we're going to do immediately now is go to config, which is on the top right. Double, uh, just click that once and go to skin. Click on Mixlab version 3.1 and then click OK. The reason we're using this one is because it has a crossfade EQ. That's a extremely important to pull off a really good mix. So uh, I'll just explain the parts of the deck to you. You got your two CD decks. CD decks is what I like to call them because they're more like that than a vinyl turntable. Um, and your mixer. So I'll explain the mixer. You got your two volume faders. So that will uh, that controls the volume for their respective deck. And your crossfader, which will turn the volume from one deck to the other. And your EQ, which is uh, basically a volume control for the individual bands of EQ. So your highs, your mids, and your lows. And then you got your crossfade EQ which transfers that particular band from one side to the other and that's really important because we need the bass crossfade EQ so um, when we're doing a mix we will be transferring our bass from one track to the other then you got your two CD decks I'll explain the the portions of the CD deck you got your uh, pitch slider which turns the speed up or down of that track you got your cue, your pause and your play and your sync button so what a cue button will do is basically um, put a save point on that track so whenever you click the Q button it will go back to that save point no matter where you are on the track then you got your pause button uh, which doubles as a stop button when you click it twice and your play button which is obvious and your sync button which is important because it lets you pull off really really easy mixes really well um, and what, what it basically does is match up the beats for you and it will also match up the speed so uh, you can pull off really wicked mixes with this uh, so basically what we'll do now is just drag a track on oopsie uh, here we go hmm what's Kot saying la 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 what oh okay <laughs> um, alright so basically what just happened was that we have a track overview here what that is is basically um, whenever you, wherever you click on that it will take you to that point of the track so the whole track is here, wherever I click. So I want to go to the middle, I click there. Self-explanatory. Um, and now what we will do is actually learn the structure of a Happy Aqua track. Now, there are four beats to a bar. And the, in Happy Aqua, there are 16 bars to a section. Now what does that all mean? A beat is every time a, uh, every time a kick drum comes in, usually. Okay, so it's like dun, 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 dun. That would be a beat. So uh, let's just give you an example of four beats. Now remember, four beats makes one bar. So this will be four beats or a bar. Definition of so did you hear that? It went dun 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 dun. That was that was four beats, and that would make one bar. And there are sixteen of those to a section. Now a section would be like uh, one part of the intro or a bit of the chorus, etc. So um, that's a section. A section would be intro, verse, chorus. Uh, a lot of tracks have two sections per verse, well, no, two sections per intro and chorus. Verses are still usually just one section. So, uh, how to actually mix? What you normally do is mix in the introduction of one track into the outro of another track. So, uh, and what we'll do now is actually attempt to do that. So, I will be dragging a track. Let's see here. Uh, let's play from the future noise first release Compulsion and Orbit 1 got any you guys might not have heard this one before, but um, it's a great track 
So what we're going to do now is attempt to mix it. Now, thankfully, the two tracks are already the same beats per minute. What you want to do is actually make sure, if, you're, if your two tracks aren't the same beats per minute, make sure they are the same beats per minute. So you can do that manually by moving the pitch slider up and down, or just press the sync button and it'll do that for you. Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do is start playing uh, the Bad Boy remix from the middle of the last chorus. So what will happen is that the last chorus will finish and then immediately the outro will start. And as soon as the outro starts, we're going to press play on the beginning of the Compulsion Orbital 1 track. So what I'll do is make sure that when I, whenever I press Q, it will start immediately from, um, from the intro of Got Any. So when I press Q, okay, did you hear that? What that did is um, actually just checking that it's uh, at the beginning of the intro. So whenever I press play, it will play from the intro. Okay, and that's what we want. So um, what I'll do now is turn down the volume on Got Any, and then on the bass, uh, the bass crossfader, uh, on the EQ crossfade, we'll be putting it completely over to uh, the Bad Boy remix. Uh, and now what we will do is, uh, uh, oh sorry, what we will be doing is after the chorus finishes on the Bad Boy remix and the outro starts, we'll be pressing play on Got Any, and as soon as that starts, press the sync button, because when you press the sync button, it will automatically match up the beats because sometimes when you press play you might be a, bit, a little bit delayed and it will sound, start to sound like crap uh, and then as soon as that starts happening put the um, put the volume up again so slowly 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 drag the volume up and before 16, uh, 16 bars is over from the first part of the intro drag this over now that might sound like a bunch of gobbledygook to you but I'll be showing you with on screen annotations as when, as uh, while that happens. So uh, let's get started. So I'll just press play. It should start from the uh, second from the second chorus, in the middle of the second chorus, sorry. So let's go. <laughs> Awesome. How mad did that sound? See, that was so easy. All that was was just a couple of mouse clicks and there you are, you got your first mix. And basically to make a full mix, like a 10 minute mix, half hour mix, hour mix, etc. Just rinse and repeat. So simple. But remember, this is just basic DJing. There is so much more to it. Like if you've ever seen Kotz and um, my, my videos and Kotz's videos, you see that Kotz does a lot of effecting, uh, effecting and he also does a lot of sampling which are a lot more advanced techniques and I do a lot of scratching myself so um, techniques like that take a long time to to get perfect I mean we're still not masters ourselves but we get uh, we're, we're getting better um, but you know what you'll be doing with virtual DJ is very basic so you actually have to get decks to actually get started with the really really advanced stuff but um, you know this is really cool just to start making mixes sharing with your friends showing them how awesome you are and how super sick of a DJ you are like seriously, I've got nothing against virtual DJ DJs. You can make epic mixes of this, and we all started here. So um, you know, just for all you beginners, this is just a little treat for you. So um, yeah, get out there and start mixing. And as Jonathan says, practice and enjoy. See you later. <laughs>